today the Indian shovel nose Spirata Aor is making its way back into the 4500 gallon from this 300 gallon timeout he's been in for about a year because we lost our big Piraiba, the one that he was bothering and this was the reason for him to be in timeout now that it is moot we're gonna put him try and put him back it's not gonna be easy to catch him it's big and powerful I'm gonna try my old t-shirt because the opening is bigger than in the pillowcase but he will not like it that's for sure First time ever I'm trying he's letting me put him in there backwards. Tail first. The tail got is sticking out of the out of the sleeve. I need to have him tire tire him out. And he's got sharp spines, so he can really hurt me.
Okay, here you, here you are back at, back at home. You can swim here actually. And that 300 gallons, I mean, he could swim lengthwise, but it's over two and a half feet long, tip to tip. Its tail is very long, especially the upper lobe. And the 300 gallon is only two feet wide, actually 22 inches or 23 inches wide, while this fish is probably 33 inches long. So that was his time out. Now he's back in his original digs. Indian shovel nose is a strange fish, it's a bag reed, so it's a territorial fish. It's semi aggressive. Many bag reeds are very aggressive. This one is semi aggressive and it it's, it picks and chooses who it bothers. And for one some reason or another spiratas have a thing against Brachyplatistoma such as Piraiba. So that's why he had to come out of here about a year, year ago. So he spent a year in timeout and now he's back.